What's up folks, this is the Savage Scientist Egg, Governor of the State of Swampland, and today I'm going to talk to y'all about how to detect OLED burning. What I did was prepare the video that's going to flicker, flip through some colors, really the primary colors, that's red, green, and blue RGB, and I'm going to show you what to look for. And I prepared the video, so that's this video, so after I get through running my mouth, I'm going to show you what to look for. So, let's go take it to the lab where the TV is located. So, I'm in the lab with an OLED TV. So, let's drop the lights. So, I'm about to show you some Python code. Alright, so, this couldn't be a computer science channel without me putting some code out here for y'all to take a look at. So, this is the code to just make this so the screen is gonna stay green and I can make a most sophisticated example but I just wanted to do something quick here just to satisfy the YouTube algorithm so let's go let's walk through this code so this is our import here we import in time and we're gonna use this from T K I N T E R another import this is a library that allows you to do some graphic stuff so this is our GUI object. This is actually the window. Or if you if you was to see a frame in a window, so this is the component of the window that shows the title bar, class names, Savage Scientist OLED, color tester. All right, so this is our window size, 3600 square, and this is us setting the background to green. And right here, you see, you would see six values here. The first two represents red, the second two represents green, and the third two represents blue. And these are hexadecimal values, so that means that we go from 0 to F. A, B, C, D, E, F. That's just like new numbers added after we get to 9. So 10 is A, 11, B, and so on, all the way till you get to F. So, this is the loop. It's just like a game. We're running a loop on the program. So, let's see what this thing looked like whenever I start it. Give it a quick run here. So, this is the program. And it's just a big green screen. So, if you like green screens, there you go. Now that we got the code out the way, I'm about to show you actual screen damage on my LG OLED TV. This TV had a static um, image of the Windows desktop that was present on the screen for probably 31 hours. Um, so this is what screen retention, image burning, screen burn, all that stuff, whatever you want to call it, this is what it looks like. So check out these examples so you won't buy a TV or phone or any device with an OLED screen with this problem. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I have the red. So you might want to pause this video when you get to a color that you start seeing some, some uh, issues. So as you can see right here, you can see the Windows logo on the bottom and you can also see some flickering but that flickering is just part of the refresh rate on this camera the issue is with this this is this is what we call burning and if you have a device with this on it whether it's a phone whether it's a phone or a TV then either bring it back while you still have warranty so let's 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 jump through some more colors. So now we're looking at the green. So green doesn't have any problems. Except for when you look at it off angle. It's a little bit of discoloration. Same thing with this blue. I don't see any problems. So it looks like it's a red color that's the problem. So with this teal, I kind of could see the Windows logo right here. But it's not highly noticeable. 
But check this purple out. I'm telling you, this purplish color, it probably don't look purple on your screen, but that color and this this kind of yellowish color, you can see it, you can see it real good. Look right there. Alright, so this is white. You can see it here. So if you don't see any imperfections or things that that stand out, then you got yourself a good set. Now that we know what this screen burn look like. Let's cycle through a few colors so we could detect screen burn on your television or your phone. And this is the Savage Scientist Ed because this is the last time you're going to hear from me in this video. And until I make my next one, peace out.